you doing, sir? We're with Mr. Makachev. How you doing? Eddie Mercado with MMA Mania. Thank you for taking the time. So you're number 15 in the world at lightweight, and you put on an impressive winning streak, and now you're facing Davi Hamos. Oh, were you a little disappointed that you didn't get another ranked opponent for this time out? Uh, yeah, no, I'm number 15, but this is this doesn't matter which which you're rating because because in UFC everybody like good fighters. Like, they have like a lot of good fighters in my division. So they Can you lift your hat up just a little bit. I'm sorry. Uh, David Ramos now, now not even in top 15, but he's a very good fighter. He has four fight in streak. He has like very good experience in uh, jiu jitsu and grappling. I think he a very good opponent. Uh, like you said, his jiu jitsu is really good, um, but your wrestling and your grappling is phenomenal also. Um, how much respect are you going to show to his grappling ability? I have, he has very good jiu jitsu, I have very good samba. I think Samba more, 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 more like more hard than his uh, jiu-jitsu. Well, how much of this fight do you think will take place on the feet versus, you know, in close grappling? I don't know what happened in the fight, but I'm ready to fight with him in striking, in grappling. I I ready wrestling with him. I read, I read it everywhere because I'm in very good shape. And training hard before this fight. And you push a really, really crazy pace out there. Do you think his cardio will be able to keep up with that? Yeah, he like he, he good when uh, like first round and second round and third round he just like he, I make him I want to make him direct. I want to pressure him. And I think if I pressure him, I. I beat him like easy because he tired after the first round. So you're ranked 15 in the world, climbing the ladder. Obviously, basically your brother Khabib is the champion. Uh, what's the protocol there? Uh, obviously, you probably would never fight him, but uh, what, what's the rules as far as moving up and competing for a title yourself? Uh, before, before I, now I'm top, top 15, Khabib like champion now. I have like two more years for the like, title fight. I think Habib fight like one or two more times and that's it, they retire and I'm gonna take this go. Is there anybody in particular that maybe you, you want next or someone in your sights that you're like, that might be a good matchup for you? Um, of course I wanna be next, but, but I have time. I'm like 27 years old now, I have time. Maybe if you fight like three, four times more, I'm gonna be next. But if you like fight one more time, I don't know. I don't know, but I, I, I fight for this belt. I live for this belt now. So what would you, uh, what do you think of Abu Dhabi and kind of the welcome you've received since being here? Uh, Abu Dhabi, like, I like Abu Dhabi. I like Dubai. It's very good. Very good country, very good city, but yeah, too too hot for me. And I like people from from this country because they show us very good hospitality. They give us everything what we need, just for cut weight, for training. They give we here before we come to Dubai, like before 21 days, and they give us like very good gym, everything what we need. Now, in the fight, do you think we'll see the Dagestani handcuff? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think we see we saw this we see this, and uh, I know a lot of guys from Dagestan coming from support us for me for Zubair for Habib. Uh, I think like all arena support me and Habib. Do you have an official prediction for Saturday night? How do you see your fight going down? I don't know. I just wait him when I win. It doesn't matter how I finish him, I knock out him, or I submit him. Doesn't matter. I just waiting. When, when I win. Well, Mr. Magachev, thank you so much for your time. Have fun out there.